Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer software testing interview question 371. That is, what is incremental integration testing? Let me answer. So what is incremental integration testing? In incremental integration testing, individually tested units are integrated with other units and immediately tested before integrating them with other next units. Okay, so let me explain this in detail, this statement in detail. So here, let's say in incremental integration testing, some units, let's say these units are ready and already tested. These units will be incrementally integrated with other units. Okay, so they will be integrated with other units. Let's say these units are integrated with next level units or other units in an incremental fashion. Okay, in an incremental fashion, these units are integrated with other units and after integration, this integration is tested, okay? So we not only integrate here, but also immediately test them, okay, test them. So now after testing only again, these units can be again incrementally integrated with other units, okay? So that's why we call this uh, integration testing as incremental integration testing, where some units will be integrated with the other units, already individually tested units will be integrated with the other units. And before integrating them with other units, other level of units, we test them, okay? Then integrated with other units and again we test them. Again, we'll integrating them with other units and test them, okay? This process continues until integration is done. Okay, let's read this statement again. In incremental integration testing, individually tested units are integrated with other units and immediately tested after integration, okay? Whether these integrations are working or not, immediately we test them. If they are really working, again, we'll be integrating these units, which are already integrated with other units with next level units. And again, we test them and this cycle continues. So this is a high level term guys, okay? Incremental integration testing is a high level term where there are types like top down integration testing, bottom up integration testing, sandwich integration testing, all these examples or approaches of integration testing falls into the incremental integration testing. In top down, high level units will be integrated with the next low level units, okay, in an incremental fashion. In bottom up integration testing approach, the low level units will be integrated with their next high level units in an incremental fashion and tested and then integrated with next level of units and then tested and then integrated with next high level units in bottom up integration. In sandwich, the integration happens in both direction from top to down and bottom to up, okay? In an incremental fashion again. So after, after every integration, we test it guys, okay? Then again, we integrate and test it, okay? That's what is the main intention of in, 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 incremental integration testing. But this incremental integration testing has some advantages and disadvantages. Coming to advantages, issues can be identified sooner. Why? Because after every integration, it may be top down or bottom up or sandwich, in every integration, you are testing. Then only you are integrating them with other units, then testing. Since you are testing immediately after integration, the defects or issues, okay, as part of the integration can be identified sooner. If they can be identified sooner, what happens? The fixing becomes easy, okay? Fixing can be done without impacting other modules, guys, because only that integration level you are testing, uh, other units are not yet integrated so that you 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 don't have to worry about impacting other units because uh, you are simply integrating and testing. Integrating and testing means fixing can be done without impacting other remaining units, okay? And very less expensive to fix, okay? Less expensive to fix because issues can be identified sooner and it's not impacting other modules means ultimately the cost of fixing this particular integration issues will be less. That is, these are the advantages guys. And we have a disadvantage also that is, so, though, though it, it uh, issues can be found uh, sooner and uh, it's less expensive and uh, without impacting other modules or units, uh, we can fix uh, problems or issues in the integrations and all. Uh, it is, uh, irrespective of this advantage, we have the uh, we have the disadvantage like time consuming guys. Okay, even though we have these advantages, it will take a lot of time. Okay, for this in because we are integrating and testing. Testing takes a lot of time. Again integrating, again testing. This this process takes time, but with advantages, okay? We are getting these advantages because of compromising this time, okay? So hope guys, you understood 
what is incremental integration testing in this session so that's all for this session in the next session i am going to answer another software testing interview question for you till then see you bye bye